Hey everyone, welcome back to Ofijan Exams. If you're a marketing student preparing for your exit exam, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into three super important multiple choice questions from the 2016 exit exam for marketing department students. Not only will we reveal the correct answers, but we'll also break them down so you can understand why they're right. So, stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll have some golden nuggets of knowledge to help you ace your exam. Let's get started. Question 1. What is the first step in the personal selling process? Is it A. Prospecting, B. Pre-approach, C. Approaching, or D. Presentation? Alright, let's break this down. The personal selling process is like a journey. It involves several steps, but it always starts with one key thing, finding potential customers. And what do we call that? Prospecting. That's the correct answer. Prospecting is where salespeople identify and reach out to potential customers who might be interested in their product or service. It's like a treasure hunt, finding those golden leads that could turn into sales. Without this step, the entire sales process wouldn't even begin. Imagine you're a salesperson. You wouldn't just randomly walk up to people and start selling, right? First, you need to research and identify who might be interested. That's why prospecting is the first and most crucial step. Question 2. What concept involves dividing a market into smaller groups based on characteristics, needs, or behaviors? A. Market differentiation. B. Market targeting. C. Market positioning. D. Market segmentation. This one's easy if you understand how businesses categorize customers. The correct answer is market segmentation. Market segmentation is the process of breaking a broad audience into smaller, more defined groups based on common characteristics like age, location, interests, or buying habits. Let's take an example. Think about Coca-Cola. They don't just sell one drink to everyone. They have Diet Coke for people watching their sugar intake, Coke Zero for those who want zero calories, and the original Coke for the classic soda lovers. That's segmentation in action. By segmenting the market, businesses can create customized marketing strategies for different groups, making their campaigns more effective. Cool, right? Question 3. In the hierarchy of effects model, what is the right research question for measuring brand awareness? A. What percent of the market have positive, negative, or neutral attitudes towards your brand? B. What percent of the market intends to buy your brand next time? C. What percent of the market purchased your brand in the past? D. What percent of the market has heard of your brand? This one is all about understanding how brands measure their recognition. And the correct answer is D. What percent of the market has heard of your brand? Brand awareness is all about recognition. It's the first step in the buyer's journey. If people don't know your brand exists, they can't buy from you. For example, if I show you this logo, you instantly recognize it, right? That means the company has strong brand awareness. Companies measure this by surveying consumers to see how many people have heard about their brand. Ever heard of random brand? No? Then their brand awareness might need some work. This is why businesses invest heavily in advertising, to make sure their name sticks in people's minds. And there you have it. Three essential marketing questions from the 2016 exit exam solved. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Ofijan. Exams for more exam preparation content. Comment below if you have any questions or want me to cover another topic. See you in the next video.